Hi everyone, welcome back to One Touch BI. My name is Saravanan Vajravet, and today we are going to diagnose the problem DPR error 2079 firewall security rejection. This error occurs when you try to import any relational table within the framework manager, the metadata modeling tool. And that's where the error code comes with the prefix BMT. IMP0002. BMT indicates it's a framework manager operation. When you see this error, DPR error 2079, firewall security rejection, you don't have to panic. The solution is very simple. The problem originates with your IBM Cognos framework manager configuration. Let's move into my system. To reproduce the error and try to fix the problem immediately. Very fast, let's reproduce the error and from there we'll go and identify the root cause and fix it. Open IBM Cognos Framework Manager from the Windows Start menu. Locate your Framework Manager Launcher. Click on IBM Cognos Framework Manager. Open the existing project. In my case, I'm going to use for the demo audit. Click on open. As I configured my BS server with LDAP namespace, it will try to authenticate with my user credential. Input your user credential and then log in. Now you will be surprised when you try to test the data source connection, everything will be fine. Click on the data source connection audit, right click test. Everything is fine. Only problem is when you try to import any metadata, expand the audit namespace, right click and choose run metadata wizard. Choose the data source, click next. Choose again the audit and click next. Now this time it tries to connect to the, the source DB and that's where it's throwing the error. The BMT indicates it's an operation you're performing in the framework manager and the error code what we are looking primarily is DPR error 2079 firewall security rejection. This is exactly we are going to diagnose now. Click OK, we got the problem. So what is the solution? The first and foremost, the problem resides with your IBM Cognos Framework Manager configuration. Open up your IBM Cognos Framework Manager configuration. I have already opened up. Click on Environment. In the right side, you will see Gateway URI and Dispatcher URI for external application. In my other video, I have shown you how to configure an install framework manager. I would have asked you to provide the gateway URI based on the IBM Cognos configuration BI server. So let's open the BI server configuration. Over here, again click on environment in the right side, you see that the gateway URI, this is the one I asked you to copy and paste it for the framework manager gateway URI. Until here it is clear. Other URI settings, dispatcher URI for external application. This I asked you to copy from the IBM Cognos configuration under other URI settings, dispatcher URI for external application. This is the one I asked you to copy and paste it for your framework manager configuration. What happens over here? In general, your BI server will be residing in one different machine and you are framework manager will be installed in the client utility box primarily it's a windows desktop utility so in that case what happens it is it tries to connect your framework manager to the remote bi server this will throw the firewall rejection error so the little change what we are going to do is instead of taking other uri settings i want you to take under dispatcher settings 
choose the external dispatcher URI. This is the one we are going to replace. Copy this and bring it here and paste it. Now the host name you change it because I was connecting to the local host BI server, not the BI server what it is there. So I'm going to rename my host name as same as the gateway URI. Copy and paste it. Now you can see the difference. We have suffixed after the port number. That is the port number what we are going to connect in this box is 9305. Instead of BI V1 DISP, I'm going to replace it with P2PD Servlet Dispatch. That's all the change what we need to do. Since this setup is already started, it would have encrypted all the files. When you attempt to save, you may get the cryptographic error. To prevent that error, what I'm going to do, go to your cogroot FM installation folder. And this is my cogroot FM installation folder. Click on configuration. Inside the configuration, make sure the old sets folder, you're going to rename it as sets backup and similarly the csk folder you rename it as csk backup that's all the change we need to do to prevent the cryptographic error now what we need to do open your ibm cognos framework manager you have already done the required settings gateway uri and dispatcher uri for external application all you need to do is save it As we have taken the prevention measure, we have avoided the cryptographic error message. Now we are good, all green ticks are there. Click on close. That's all the change required. Now you go back to the framework manager. Close the existing framework manager. Now launch your IBM Cognos framework manager from the Windows start menu. Click on IBM Cognos framework manager. Open the existing project, the audit. Input the user credentials. Click sign in. Now you do the same step what we did for reproducing the error. Expand the data sources. Right click on audit and test. Make sure you are able to text successfully. Yes, we are good. Expand the audit namespace in the top, right click, run metadata wizard and this is the place where we got the firewall rejection error when we try to import the metadata. Click on next to choose the data source. Choose audit, click next. Now this time you are not getting any error message like firewall rejection. We are good. So it allows you to now import the table. You can choose the table, whatever you want and click next. And proceed to import it. We are good over here. That's all for the today's demo. With this, I'm going to end my recording. If anyone who is not subscribed my channel, I request you to subscribe my channel right at the bottom. Click on subscribe. Until I come back with another video, this is Saravanan Vajravir signing off from One Touch BI. Have a good day.